What is up, guys? Boulder here. Welcome back to more Fire Emblem Three Houses. Today's the day. It's time to fight the Death Knight. I... One way or another, I mean, you guys are seeing this video, so we would have... We have gotten past it. I don't know in this current time how... But oh boy, <laughs> assault at the right of Rebirth. While the plot to assassinate the Archbishop shakes the monastery to its core, you suspect the enemy may have a different motivation. Anxiety abounds as the goddess's right of her birth commences. Anxiety, that's a good way to put it. The goddess's right of rebirth is about to begin. Are we going to move forward with our plan? I believe so. How confident are you in our theory, Professor? Well, the theory that there it's going to be attacked down there? Oh, uh, we're not wrong. No one's intuition is perfect. It's ridiculous not to have doubts. All that matters is how our enemy makes their move, not how our teacher feels about the plan. You seem a mite too relaxed for my liking. The goddess's right of rebirth is about to begin. While we are in the goddess tower, we are relying on you to secure the locations that are lacking in defense. May I let you in on something, Professor? My brother can be a bit... callous. He told me that he was concerned about you, and hinted that perhaps you would be better off patrolling a coffin. <laughs> that was said in jest, Flame, and in confidence. Please just remain by my side and do not cause any more trouble. As a professor, you would do well to remember that it is your duty to guide your students down the path of righteousness. Please excuse us, everyone. We shall see you again after the ceremony has concluded. A coffin. <laughs> How fascinating. Hurry, Professor. We must find a place to hide where we can guard the stairs to the Holy Mausoleum. I forgot about that part. It's so if good. If any moves as predicted, we should be able to cut off their escape path and capture every last one of them. Okay. So... What attack speed are we dealing with, first of all? 17. Uh-huh. Um... Petra. I was like, who do we have that can actually, like, not get doubled by that? Byleth and Petra. Okay. Defense-wise, 6 and 10. Also, leather shield. So, 14. I guess, look at protect. 14, 6. Um, and we'll, okay, that's with what we have. 12. We need a minimum. I said, what, 17? 13 to not get doubled? <sighs> what is your attack speed right now? 11. That's with a weapon. Okay. Um, what was his attack? So that... These are the two that are going to have to pull him in. And... 37 attack. Uh, 37 minus... I guess let's say 10. We unequip. What, what? What is adding to the protect? Let me check this. Empires, archers. Oh, okay. So it'll just minus one to the leather shield. So I already forgot. What? 13. So 24. That's a nasty chunk. 24 there, anyways. Uh, God, I'm, so, my memory, 30 what? <laughs> 37. 31. Petra would live on 2 HP. Not great. But she would live. Um, what's his defense? Because I'm looking, we need 13 attack speed to not get doubled. This is 6 weight. This is oh, five weights. No, that won't do it. I was wondering if I could retaliate at all. I don't think I can. 
Is the training bow five? Unless I have a sword that's five. Okay, okay, hold on. We need 13. If I equip the sword or the lance, either way, we can retaliate if we unequip the leather shield. That would bring us up, I think, right? Because five, six, yeah, we're just swapping and doing minus one. Okay. I wanted to get this out of the way before I hit start, just so I knew if I wanted to use a stat booster right now or not. Um, I don't think I do right now. But, okay, that's... And I don't know if he runs at me or not. I know he moves. That much I know. Uh, I don't know if he will chase me even though I'm out of his range or not. I don't know about all that. These guys... Okay, you don't heal... Or you don't do damage. You're heal only. We are timed on this too, which really sucks. Uh, Chest-wise, I think the left chest is the stat booster. The right one's just a seal. I'm gonna ignore the seal. I wanna go to the left. Okay, so with that in mind, let's swap some people around. Okay. I have the base of operation save from right before this, and a save right here. All right. We were right. Unwanted guests have come to visit. Oh, those central church dasters have spotted us. Buy me some time while I open the seal on the casket. I'm on it. Our enemy appears to be after the tomb of St. Saros in the back. Are they attempting to steal her bones? It would be best to defeat them before they achieve their aim. Look closely. There are contraptions of some sort on the floor. Yep. That's like the plus side of the Death Knight moving. He's not gonna be on the high avoid tile. You know, I need to check. What I didn't check is skills. Does he have anything? No, he doesn't have like a breaker or anything. Okay. Well, it does appear oh, no. that if I were to go on the offensive to try and take these guys out I immediately, I could do so. And I could use Petra. It's 13 plus what? 16, so 29, that won't kill. Okay. As you wish. These two right here at the start really suck. Stay focused. Like a lot. <laughs> Cause I'm sure you also have, yep. Well, okay, if he's gonna run after me, or if he doesn't, I mean, either way, I don't wanna fuck with him, right? Until I need to. This one is a res tile, okay. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. And then who are you going after? I That's my cue. I will prevail. Well. I feel like for turn 1, I just go straight left. Instead of trying to worry about the death knight, I want him to be out of the way as soon as possible. But these assholes at the start here are a problem. Okay. 
Okay. Put me in there. Let me. There we go. <laughs> Battle. What's your attack speed? <laughs> I think we can, yeah. Swap that seal to an iron bow. Death Knight, prove your strength and scatter these fools. I don't take commands or waste my time on weaklings. That knight is a powerful enemy. Let's do all we can to avoid him. I kinda don't want to. I mean, or really. Ow. Pain. <laughs> I mean, she needed to take damage regardless. Okay. Like, I, I want, very much want, don't need, but I very much want the Dark Seal. Alright. Lance. Uh, Caspar, I got you some steel gauntlets. Uh huh. Still living on one. I hate it. Okay. You fought well. We can kill that guy. Uh, this dude, anything in particular? No, I could pull him over. Though I feel like I should not. No matter what. Do we die here? Yes. So we're gonna combat arts. Do some damage here. Where's Petra? No one can pull. Well shit. Okay. Take you out. over here oh. expected heal Hubert heal him again okay I'm gonna try and just kind of get centralized Okay, I'm, I'm gonna pull him in. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go here. Items. Iron. Iron sword. Unequip. So, of course, we die if we get crit. Uh, but that's gonna go. If he crits us, we lose, I think, regardless of what the numbers are. So, that'll be fun. Um. Oh, no, I need 14. No, I was wrong on that. Okay. It's four exactly to get doubled. Uh, do I have a training sword on anyone? I believe I do. The thing is, I don't know if I'll actually do damage in return. Uh, I believe you have a training sword. Yeah. I'm just gonna take that real quick. Well done. Okay, so now we don't get double. Yeah, still 24 damage. Still hurts. Uh, we do 22. What's his defense? Will we actually damage in return? Yeah, we can do four damage as long as we hit. Which I am absolutely down for that. All right, uh, Hubert. Just in case. It's not going to heal her to full. As long as she's not full, she's good. Ferdinand. Caspar. Anna. And Linhart. I do have animations on, correct? Common animations, your units. Yes. It begins. Like moths to a All right. 
Didn't get the 25% crit immediately. I told you that if you fled, I would not chase you. But it seems you wish to die. Maybe a little. Okay. So. <laughs> we got to dish 42 damage to him. Is it possible? I have no idea. There's 14. Um, 15. Or 17. Okay, that's a good finisher. Uh, let's look at curved shots. Or we're going to get hit. We have to hit him with gambits for damage. So, let's unhighlight you. I want to make sure we live enemy phase, too, whenever we kill. I I don't want to kill him and then get... Get bodied by someone off to the side. Okay. Hubert. Let's see. Hubert and Linhart. Linhart probably has, like, no hit rate with this gambit. And he only does one damage. <laughs> um, I know he's resistant to gambits. Three damage. Oh, God. But that's hit rate, right? And that's the only way we're going to do damage otherwise. So the rally charm. Hmm. Is he a, the same res and defense? Yes. I need to see, let's see, four. Who does the most base damage that could like really capitalize on Rally Charm? Three. Be mindful. Oh yeah, yours, you have a long range gamut. I'll just say, what, what's going on here? Another three. So it's like three, six, nine. Right, because they all did three. Three. Four. So ten. One. Now, Ferdinand also has the potential to attack and not get counterattacked unless his personal. Or not personal, but uh, unless Commander nullifies that. If that counts as a status effect or not. Because his crest. Sometimes prevent enemy counterattacks for combat arts. So damage with a combat art and Tempest Lance, Steel Lance. Like that's 10 damage. That's pretty good if his crest pops. Um Petra with the bow. Four, um, Gambit, one. Not good. Edelgard, what is your Gambit damage? Six. So we're up to 16. I think she has the highest. So if I Rally Charmed her, 16, or six. Two, okay, better than one. I don't think there's enough damage sitting here. <laughs> and I don't have... So he doesn't have pass, does he? Is that pass, whatever this is? No, Kanto, okay. Because I was thinking, if I can't kill him, can I at least surround him? And would I be able to muster anything um, if, like, we unequip everything? I don't think so. Even with a stat booster. We have one, like, plus three speed. I think we could get one more person to not be doubled. But not two more people to not get doubled.
So let's look at Ah. Eighteen. What was the seventeen? Okay, so Steel Gauntlets does most does most damage to him. From Edelgard. If I can get him down to eighteen, she can clean up. Bernadetta did four. I kind of want to rally charm her. It'll boost the damage. I just want to make sure our onslaught is. Oh, a push. I mean, okay. Alright. We're just gonna try to piece it together we'll cover you. as we go. That's My probably not smart, works. but it's the best way I can like visualize our progress when we're actually, you know, doing the numbers. Perhaps I've been well taught. That would have been great two seconds ago. <laughs> okay. Because he's not going to get any debuffs by any disturbance either. Uh, we're going to rally. It's charm plus eight. And then... Nah, 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 nah. Gambit. We do the same amount of damage. I mean, it just guarantees we hit at the very least. Maybe charm, hold on. Let me see if I can figure out. Serenus, I don't think, has the charm formulas. How effective is charm to the damage side of the formula? Maybe it's more hit rate based and not damage. Three houses, charm, uh, gambit, damage, formula. Gambit. Gambit damage formula. Uh, Gambit might plus authority might times effective bonus plus charm divided by five. Ah. Plus relevant attack plus damage bonus. Relevant attack, here's magic strength. Okay. Gambit boost. Authority level. Okay, so if I were to undo that real quick, let's just say she had base 10. It's divided by five. So that makes it seem like I should have had a plus one to at least do five damage. I mean, either way, that's still pretty good damage. So we come out here, Gambit. Four. We're trying to get to 18, right? Whoa, 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 wait. What if... Okay, hold on, hold on. Now's our chance. Oh. 
that one. Ugh. It's so awful to see. I think for this, well, <clears throat> she was used for Rally Charm. I was thinking, just from base charm alone on Dorothea, I might want to give her the mage battalion I currently have on Linhart. I don't... I don't know that I can... Okay, real quick. Three speed... I'm trying to think, if I add three speed... <clears throat> Could I then reliably run in and attack with like a combat art and not die? About three speed here, because she has Night Kneeler. That's 15. If I can get to 14, right? Yeah, 14 attack speed. Not 13. Five weight, minus two. Because we're 12 strength. Uh, so three. No. She cannot. And she's the only one who has gotten Night Kneeling. That's 12. Would have... Had to do it with Byleth? Because no one else has 13 speed. Or even th 13 speed. Adding 3. I guess depends on their strength, right? So Edelgard. Getting her up to 15. She gets a 4 strength. Or 4 penalty. Or... You, you kind of minus four to the weapon's weight. Um, so within the training axe, that would be a two weight. So she would have 13 attack speed. So I would be able to combat art with a training axe specifically and not die unless we get critted. But it's only smash. I mean, 16 damage is still 16 damage. There's the 9% chance to crit. Um, but can I... Actually, 16... How much did this do? Hold on, that might actually be the answer. That is 15. We do a 1 damage gambit. And he's dead. As it currently is, I'm not going to be able to do enough damage to him with gambits. Um, the only, the alternative way to go about this is I need a crit with something, right? Because that's 20. Well, that's up to 20 now, okay. Well, hold on. 20, I need to do 12 damage. And I can finish it with Edelgard as long as no one takes that spot. Uh, 
But the problem is I used all but one of my ranged gambits. So like, I can do that for another one if I hit. Two. Just curious about like boosts from different positions. One. One. Okay. It's two. Two. She does four. So four. Five. Six. I can't do 12. Okay. But from where I am right now, if we give Edelgard the plus three speed, assuming I'm counting it correctly, <laughs> she would be able to kill him in this situation. Or be the reason we kill him, right? Because she'd be able to hit him, and then Bernadetta could finish the job. All right. I'm gonna reset and do that. Well, before I do that, on the off chance, right? On the off chance we proc Ferdinand's crest. That would save this attempt. Or we dodge an 84, which we don't do that either. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Forgive me, everyone. My battle ends here. Forgive me, Stop everyone. It. You ass jockey, I swear. My battle Fuck ends. off. Forgive me, everyone. Four in a row. My battle ends here. Please. I used. Okay, I used the luck item. We had a plus one luck item. I dropped this crit down from twenty-five to twenty-four. We survived. Fucking ass hat. As you wish. Okay. I will help also. My plan is flawless. I don't remember the HP. I think 32 is what we need, right? There's that. Uh, cause this does. No, 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 no. This does. 16, wait. You have 15 attack, or 15 speed. He has 17 attack, speed. Do combat arts add weight? No. What did I, what did I miss, Calc? Six weight, minus four, two weight. So we have 13. It's the same shit. I keep thinking four and I'm safe. I don't have a way to get her one more. Oh, I, I, no. No, I don't actually. Uh, steel gauntlets. We'll do it. So it's still the same. We do 16. I is that one one more, actually? I don't know, both do 16. Okay. It still works. Um, 16. Well, let me do that now, because that's another crit I have to roll. 
So might as well get it out of the way. Oh, actually, no. He does not crit me in return. It's just gonna hurt. There's no way around it. I accept your challenge. Oh, this will be fun. Is that all? Well, dodging that's nice. Okay. Um, and that actually helps get more people in because that's a, uh, you know, fading. Um, you do how much? One. Okay. I did swap over here. One. So it didn't really matter. Um. Be mindful. Let's see. We need Bernadetta. Bernadetta does how much? Combat art, Night Kneeler, Training Lance. 15, we need to do eight. I believe we can do that. I'm gonna rally charm by left. Gambit, that's four. It's time. And then If I don't hit this, do I have enough? I don't know. Shall I help? It's guaranteed. So five. I'll show you a plan. Petra. Okay. That's what seven, right? Is that where I left off? I don't remember how much Bernadetta does. Are we there? What does she do, 15 or 16? 15, okay, we need one damage. Caspar, Gambit, uh, mm, Gambit from here. I keep hitting Gambit. Uh, Night Kneeler, Training Lands, Die. Four fucking crits in a row. Fuck out of here. Whoa, did I get stronger? I mean... I guess it's an all right ish in. Could have been worse, I should say. <sighs> okay. It's turn three. Now to continue on. Well done. And play the, the rest of this chapter and hope I don't have to do that again. But if I do. Well, I, okay, I still have full three. I, no, I did not Divine Pulse. Um, so we'll, we're still good there. So it's the main reason I didn't want to Divine Pulse, because I didn't want, uh, in the event that we lose after killing him, I want undo buttons. You have nine attack speed. Well, well, well. I'm still only gonna go left though, because the other one, I'm pretty sure I could I could double check that. Um, pretty sure the other one's just a seal. There's a specific site. I don't know what site. Not that one. That's for damn sure. I hate how many bullshit one-off like I've never heard of Stay you focused. gaming journalism sites pop up whenever you're looking for something with three hero uh three heroes three houses 
It's incredibly frustrating. Um, this is red drive. rebirth. Intermediate seal. Yeah, I'm good. If they approach from behind, we can attack them from both sides. Really? Oh, you suck. Come on now. Yeah, that just like... Why? Why couldn't you have just died? So I could walk forward. Is it worth using a Thoron here? I don't know. Maybe. I could have just Thoron to outright. You were wide open. All right, well. Let's see, this dude is nine attack speed. 11 attack speed. You have eight res with eight attack speed. You won't get doubled, so yeah, we'll go over here. Um, let's highlight the both mages. Okay, attack speeds are what? Nine. 14 on that dude. Okay. We're still not gonna be doubled. We'll just make sure we're full health. Uh, Byleth can't reach. I could gambit you. Do I want to? No. But. We could do some damage. Because he can't retaliate. He's a healer only. Uh, and then more damage here. Very close to a kill. Hubert does kill, but is not safe afterwards. Let's go up there. Hubert. Yeah. Call it good there. Ah. He moves a whole one. At least he moved first. Now you know your limits. That way, you know, like this guy doesn't come in, get hit, and then heal back to full. Alright, so Linhart. Uh, sure, hit him with fire. And then, the way we can do this, we'll have cast spar. What a jump. Should have used the hand axe, but whatever. We'll come in here with Petra. I will not Take you down, it. level up for Petra. Hard work created this. God damn. Okay. Let's see here. You do 17. You hurt. You don't double though, so that's fine. Uh, on second thought, maybe I shouldn't have moved Caspar for that. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I was like, what the hell? Fucking avoid tile. Well. I did not mean to hit that. It paid off. All right. <laughs> I will take it. Kill here. All right, you, what is your battalion? Group Lightning, okay. Don't know that I want to deal with that. Uh, 
But at the same time, uh, let's just chill. We got 25 turns. If only sales were this good. God damn. Very nice. Okay, you have how much speed? 11. Do we have, let's see, 11, three, well, it's steel bow, right? Uh, five weight, minus two, so three, we have nine. Yeah, we'll be fine here. We switch over to this. Think this through. A great hug. All right. Hello. I will prevail. All right. Um. I think it would be worth trying for. Well, actually. Would have been, hmm. If it hits, it's also gonna stop Violet, and that's not good. I'm gonna bring Caspar over here. All right. Let's see. Ferdinand. And the minor crest to keyhole. There we go. Good shit there. Dorothea, can you finish with thunder? Yes, yes you can. Go down so easily. Might as well hold on to that chest key. I did buy a few, um, but I forgot to give them out. <laughs> so... That works, that she has plenty of empty space. Did not go for the battalion. I appreciate that. And we got hit by both, I mean it was magic. If it was physical and I got hit, I'd be pretty upset. All right, here. Highlight this side. Okay, and then highlight the three gambits behind us. Just so I know what we're dealing with. Steel, gross, okay. <laughs> that and Caspar will do it. Yeah, perfectly. Yeah, it worked. All right, Caspar. Strength, good, don't you think? defense, and the, okay, I can't be mad about that level. I like it. Uh, get some more golden tile. What you got? Gambit use again. Uh, speaking of gambit, okay, you okay. Five attack speed, five attack speed. Um, what tiles are these? Defense tiles. Well, yeah, they're gonna try the onslaught. I'm not too surprised there. Uh, does this give us, hold on. It does, okay. There is a charm measurement. So now it's 20% each instead of 30. Good to know. Over here, heal, level eight. He got magic again. Will serve Lady Edelgard well. Res Dex, I like it, I like that level. Don't 
I swear if one of these hits me. Let's go. Oh, you have 25 instead of 20 now? Okay, thank God. <sighs> okay, that's 15 with the Gambit. 22 with Thunder. Let's go, Dorothea. Well, like what you see. Um, not really. Not really. <laughs> there we go. My heart is full of victory. I like what I see there, though. Not come up here. Uh, twenty-two, because we can double. <laughs> It'll guard. Well, how is that? Perfectly kills here. I must get stronger. Okay. She's the first one able to get uh, another promoted class, though no one has mastered their current class, so that sucks. We do more than eight with anything? Nope. All right, uh, steel axe, hundred percent. Mark of nobility. Um, aye, aye. Kind of like I don't I don't know what I want to do because these three are gonna chase me down. They all three have gambits. I think I should have fallen right again. I think I'm just gonna run some more. Okay, thank you for not missing. Okay. Dorothea. Heal Edelgard. Oh, uh, there's some stats to battalions. All right, uh, we're gonna trade a train. It's 25 turns, right? Yeah, we're in turn 10. We are plenty fine. All right, come here, trade. Give me that. There's the spirit dust. I think I'm gonna have to bunker down just a just a smidge for these three. What's your Oh that it okay. Wow, you're fast. 13 attack speed, okay. Um, well, 13 attack speed. Go get this purple for me. Okay. Uh, Yeah, I think I, I kind of want to just hold still. We'll go here for the heal afterwards. I 
could have been sleeping this whole time. Not great. Okay, I don't know what this dude's doing. Let's see here. Um, we're in a shitty spot where we can't go and take that. Well, I say that. Oh, we're out of, we only get one fuselage? No, I used them both. I don't remember doing so, but okay. Over here. Just gonna hold still there. Ni 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 ni. There we go. This dude, let's do 34 damage to Caspar. He won't die. I don't want to take 34 damage, though. All right, Anna. Hold on. Okay. Let's get Iron Bow equipped on her. Around here, Wardwood. We want to keep kind of pushing kind of forward toward the boss. Let's see how this goes. All right. I'm a dodge. And then the Crest of Ernest, so he didn't get his second one. Okay. Uh, unhighlight you. So, Caspar. No one able to kill there. Me. Come here, training, uh, training lance. Onslaught, uh, no surprise. Okay, 13. See Dorothea could Thoron. Uh, don't know that I like that option. Do you heal her to full if you heal? No. Then we're good. Okay. Over here, Thunder. Mm. Anna. Okay. Thanks for the business. There we go. We heal you. Which shape is your battalion? Okay. I mean, honestly, I think, uh, let's do training axe. Yeah, we'll just hold still there. And all should be pretty good. As long as he doesn't hit this, he does not. Though the way he did, if he would've, it at least wouldn't have hit Aelgard. All right, do some damage. Yeah, we, we pretty much got this in the bag. And I am very, very happy about that. 
Yeah, you tell him, Ferdinand. All right, combat arts, steel bow, there's an 18. Authority D. And then level wise. Hmm. Not Edelgard. I'll say that much. We could try Anna again. We'll give the kill to Anna. It's right next to my left. There we go. Level eight. More magic? Yeah, okay. In a day's work. She's really determined for that mage. I'm down. I am down to give it to her. All right. I, I'm pleasantly surprised, I guess, at the, the Death Knight. Like, I did have to use a stat booster for the plan, I the, the solution I saw. You know, hindsight's 2020. I could watch this back in editing and be like, oh, I could have done this, this, and this, instead of using the, the stat booster. Uh, probably other things I could have done that you guys probably saw that I didn't. But the solution I saw got us there. Uh, You're too late. Pretty painlessly. However, I think regardless of how you do this map, you have to play around getting critted four times in a row. I don't, hmm, I don't know about all that, but you know, Ferdinand. What is happening? Okay, <laughs> opening menus that I did not mean to click. Okay, we are going to do that. Let's get a heal here just for experience for you. Can you heal anyone? No. All right. Well, Ferdinand. Smash. This was beneath me. There we go, level nine. What you got? God damn it. Awaits me. Your strength is awful. Come on now. It's no use. A seal is broken. You can't. Uh, a sword. Is the intruder here? <sighs> oh, looks like you have this under control. Yeah, except for, you know, all the people on the other side. You, round up any stragglers. Will do. That, like, I suppose I could have spent, you know, time getting a little bit more experience and take them out. It's whatever. It, it, it shouldn't matter too much. I could have just gotten a, maybe a level or two more on someone. Yeah. But Caspar MVP. Look at you. 
He gave him those steel gauntlets and he's out here. Finally. Sword of the Creator. Wonder how quickly we will uh, <laughs> run that one down. All right. But yeah, all in all, and it seems like you can just do this map without even touching him As if all you of so you desire. Have committed a breach of faith. The Archbishop will now pass judgment. So yeah, all in all, it, I thought it was gonna be way worse than it was. But all right. Inciting a kingdom noble to rebel, unlawful entry. The attempted assassination of the Archbishop. An attack on the Holy Mausoleum. It is unnecessary to go on, followers of the Western Church. What? We have nothing to do with the Western Church. You have already been identified. Please spare us your second-rate theater. Dishonoring a holy ceremony is worthy of death for a member of the Church. You are well past the hope of redemption. If you have any grace remaining, you will willingly offer your life as atonement for this crime. No, this isn't what we were told would happen. We've been deceived! It's no use arguing. Whatever your excuse, the punishment stands. May your souls find peace as they return to the Goddess. Wait, please! The Goddess would never forgive you for our execution! Monster! We know you've already slaughtered many of our fellow brethren like this. This concludes the investigation. Please remove these poor lost souls from my sight. Well. That's that, I Bye. suppose. The assassination attempt, the attack on the Holy Mausoleum. It was all the Western Church's doing. That masked knight who led the attack somehow managed to disappear without a trace. The Church of Saros clearly isn't as unified as it would hope to appear. It seems the Bishop of the Western Church was always opposed to the Church being ruled centrally from Garig Mach. Perhaps they hoped to remove the Archbishop in order to completely strip the Central Church of its authority. Uh, the Western Church... Oh, that's right. Geralt mentioned that you were raised without any exposure to the Church. In order to function more efficiently, the Church of Saros is split into several smaller entities. The Central Church is the largest, and leads the organization from Garig Mach. The Western Church extends from Castle Gaspar, where Lord Lenato rebelled into the Far West. They can be found just beyond the most renowned stronghold of the kingdom, the fortress city of Arian Road. It seems the Knights have been tasked with subduing the leaders of the Western Church. We may be given the opportunity to help them with their mission. To think, our own professor was born in Fodlan, and yet knew nothing of the church. Hey man, it happens. <laughs> I never imagined explaining something so basic to an instructor of mine. You're something of a special case, are you not? How strange that the Archbishop would ask someone like that to lead her students. There's clearly more to that decision than we know. Oh, yes. Lady Rhea is pretty scary sometimes. But to execute that whole group just like that? It seems harsh, even for her. If one of us does something bad, I wonder what she would do to us. Professor, do you agree with the Archbishop's actions? There you are, Professor. It oh, we don't actually Lady get Rhea an would like a word with option. You. Come with me. I don't know. Definitely pretty harsh. More the emotionally charged is. than uh, than other punishments due to the circumstances. Not that I had ever placed much faith in those swine from the Western Church. I have news, both good and bad. The remains of Saros were not in a tomb. However, something else was. The Sword of the Creator. Ah, the weapon wielded by that thief, the King of Liberation. Thief? Huh. At any rate, it is now in the hands of the Academy's new professor. I doubt you will be surprised to hear that the Crest Stone had already been removed from the sword when it was found. Hmm. As expected. It would be foolish to keep both in the same location. There's more. 
The professor was able to awaken the sword's true power. Even without the crest stone, the sword glowed red. The professor's crest is compatible. There is no mistaking it. Oh, yeah. Absurd. Using a relic without its crest stone should be impossible. Hey, man. You're in a world full of magic. I don't... I feel like surprises shouldn't be that, you know, <laughs> that common. The king of liberation's bloodline should not even... Or that uncommon, rather. They must be allowed to keep it, for now. I do not have enough information about the professor to act. As for your request, I assent. The Death Knight is at your command. Use him well. Good. I believe I will enjoy this a great deal. Do we talk to Ray? Okay, yeah. I cannot thank you enough for defeating those invaders in the Holy Mausoleum. And especially for protecting the sword of the Creator. That sword is one of the hero's relics, and the most precious artifact in the Church's possession. It is also a weapon of terrifying power. Yeah. I could do better. <laughs> for now, I will entrust the sword to you. Please, use it wisely. Lady Rhea, wait! Do you truly mean to give the sword of the Creator to this... stranger? Surely it is not the sort of thing one hands over so readily. Even to someone who has the ability to wield it. If someone like Nemesis were to appear again, all of Fodlan would be consumed by war. Who? Nemesis, the King of Liberation. He is an ancient king of mankind who was defeated by Seros over a thousand years ago. When Fodlan was attacked by wicked gods, it is said that the goddess gifted Nemesis with the sword of the Creator. Nemesis used that sword to defeat the wicked gods, saving all of Fodlan. Henceforth, he was dubbed the King of Liberation. However, his power began to corrupt him until he himself turned to the darkness. Saint Seros was forced to destroy him. Lady Rhea, I beg you to reconsider. Given a little more time, we could more accurately assess this stranger's abilities. No. I have faith, Sedeth. Faith that our friend here will not be corrupted by wickedness. Well, define wickedness. <laughs> Since the death of Nemesis. None have been able to wield the Sword of the Creator. Now, after all those long years of being sealed away, it has returned and found a new master. I understand. As you wish, Lady Rhea. There you have it, Professor. See that you do not betray the trust the Archbishop has seen fit to bestow upon you. Well, <laughs> about that, it'll be a bit... But, you know, don't get too comfy. The sword of the creator? The king of liberation? Each tale is more confusing than the last. And I really can't read that Rhea at all. That sword is clearly precious. So why is she so keen to gift the thing to you? Uh, the sword chose me. Is that a fact? Yeah, sure. I feel as though we have become entangled in a mystery. And there is one more thing that has been plaguing me. The Sword of the Creator. It somehow feels distinct from other relics we have seen. Such as the one that... Oh goodness, what was her name? Catherine. Yes, her. The Sword of the Creator is different from her Thunderbrand in one key way. It bears a hole. I despise not knowing what is going on. It... it frightens me. And yet, I place my trust in you. I must. Well, I mean, yeah, Sothis actually has to. She's, she's like, trapped in our body. So, like, <laughs> what else can she do? Whatever comes to pass, please swear to cut a path that is your own. Okay. <sighs> well, it's, the deed is done. Uh, I don't know what our next, what the next thing I need to fear really is. I mean, I guess the next Death Knight encounter, I suppose. 
Um, but that one's going to play out similarly to how it normally does, since he already runs at you. We'll see. Uh, I think that map, the hardest part about the map is actually going to be saving the villagers, since we don't have any flyers yet, um, and I don't know if we will by then. We probably won't. That'll probably be the, the roughest part. But we do have stride, so we'll figure something out. Uh, and if we lose one villager, whatever. I've saved them on the other two paths. We'll see what happens when we don't save all of them. Or something. I don't know. But either way, before I keep rambling too much, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoy, and I will see you next time. Bye.